Okay guys, this is a quick video about how to have your camera working on a TCL Roku device. Here I have my Hike Vision camera, as you can see, it's on my TV. It's a mini PTZ camera, the link here in the description for the camera and for the TV. So basically what I have here is the remote control. I'm gonna show you guys, I hit this button here to configure the camera. I'm just show on the TV, so I come here to edit camera. And here I have my Hike Vision camera. I want to put the name here, Hike Vision, a description, the IP of the camera, the, the port and user and password. Uh, this camera is connected to my router. As you can see here, to the right of the TV, I have the router. And in this router, it's connected the camera, my Hike Vision camera, and also the TV, of course, okay? So basically, I have different ways to test the camera. The first one I tried was discover the camera. I hit here this discover button and it tries to find the camera on my network. It finds here four different cameras, but they are not my high vision camera. Those are Samsung cameras and other cameras that I have on my network. So I just hit here cancel and I try again a different way. When I try here with the onvif out config, it finds the camera. So as you can see here is a, uh, the model that I'm using here is a high vision model, but for some reason it doesn't work. When I try to do something else, it, it won't let me, right? I just click here, nothing happens. So I need to come back to home. I need to hit, hit here home. And then I come back to IP camera viewer. And here we go. Let me hit the button here to configure the camera again. Edit the camera. Here we go. So the last try is to use this scan right you know you the, the app is going to scan for a stream url as you can see here i have different stream url you can input your stream url here i mean the stream url for the camera if you know which one it is usually you don't right if the first time you're configuring the camera you don't that's the reason you have the scan button here when you hit the button uh, the app trying to use different stream urls to see which one works with your camera. If you're using a different camera that's not high vision, you can do that. Uh, as long as you put here the IP and the username and the password, the system is going to test different URLs with your camera. As you can see here, it takes like 30 to 40 seconds and it finds the URL for this camera. In this case, I just hit OK. And I come here and test the camera. And as you can see, it's working, right? Then when I click here, I click here, save camera. It tries to communicate with the camera, sends the command and brings the image. When I hit the OK button, it goes full screen and it's working. Okay, perfectly working here. So now what I'm going to show you is something else. Uh, when i going to use high vision camera, I need to come here to my computer. As you can see here on my laptop, I have the camera and I need to enable the OnVIF protocol. So I come here to configuration and then a network and advanced settings and here on integration protocol, you need to come here and enable high vision CGI. I also change here from digest to just basic slash basic and enable OnVIF protocol here and create a user and a password. I'm using the same one that I log in into the camera, the same user and the same password. Just to make sure I'm not making any mistake when I type there on the app. Okay. So it works for high vision camera for other cameras is different. Most of the cameras already come with on this enable here, but doesn't come enable with the high vision. You have to do that. Otherwise it's not going to work. Right. I tested before was not working. When I enable here, it start working. Okay. So back to the TV here, what I'm using is the IP camera uh, viewer, basic. You can just look for it on the search here. You go to search and you can see like IP, IP camera viewer basic. Of course, you're gonna type here, right? I just type it, I found it and I installed it here and it's working with my camera. Uh, it's also working with Samsung camera and other brands. You need to test the same way I did with high vision cameras. Different ways are gonna work with your camera because it works with most of the IP cameras, okay? And that's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. 
leave your thumbs up and your comments. See you in the next video.